Hi there. Today, I will walk you through how to create an ebook cover from scratch. Follow this guide to understand how our software and some of its functionality works. Then you can apply it to your own design. Before you start, you need to know roughly what you want on your cover. I suggest the following format for best visual impact on your cover. The title of your book. This is the first thing they read when they first lay eyes on your cover. So make it stand out to grab attention. If it's a long title, make the important keywords stand out more. A one to two line subtitle for your book. In one sentence, how would you describe the content of your book to a new reader? A hero image. This image should give your audience an instant recognition on what your book is all about. Do a rough sketch on paper first before starting the design process. The very first step is to choose which 3D mockup you want to create. We have a wide selection of covers ranging from books to software boxes and digital devices such as iPads and smartphones. In this guide, we will be creating a cover for an ebook. So I'll pick this one. It's the most popular cover on our platform. So here, we start with a blank canvas, and it can be a little overwhelming if you have never designed anything before. That's why we have our sketch. It gives you an idea of how to start, what goes where, and so on. You can always change things around as you see your design on screen. If you have a smaller screen and want to see the whole canvas, you can zoom in or out here, or click fit to screen to see the whole canvas on your screen. The first thing we should do is to select a background for the cover. There's a selection of different backgrounds provided for you to choose from, or you can upload or create your own too. Click on a background and you'll be able to select which part of that background you want to use. Then click Select and Continue. Next, I want to upload a hero image. There are many stock photo sites you can buy images from, like this one I purchased from dreamstime.com. Once the image is in the design, you can move it around and resize and position it to how you want it. Now I need a shape across the design so I can put the title on there. As with any element you place on the design, it can be moved and resized to work with your design. Now the title of this demo ebook is called 101 Pro Tips to Building Muscles. I've decided earlier that I want the words 101 Pro Tips 2 to be smaller and make the words building muscles larger. This would catch the attention of people who are looking to build muscles if they see my book cover. Next, I want the words building muscles to be large and bold. Our cover maker has built-in functions to generate insanely eye-catching text effects, so I'm going to put it in use here. I like these words to have this 3D text effect, and I want the word building to be red, so I'll create this word first. Generating a text effect can take up to 30 seconds, depending on which effect you choose and how long your word is. Look at this word, building. That would take serious Photoshop skills to produce. We made it in 15 seconds without breaking a sweat. Now, let's create the word muscle in the same effect, but in white. Now, all the text are there. I can play around with the positioning to get it just right. I think this title box looks a little bland. It could use a border to break it up from the background more. So let's go and insert a divider. Here's where some creativity will help. There's no dividers here, but I can insert this shape and then just resize and stretch it into a long thin line, like this. And we made a little border for our text box. That's the main title done. Now I need to add my subtitle. 
I really like that 3D text effect, so I'm going to use it again for the subtitle. Just a little warning though, using the text effect on sentences or a whole line of text will take longer to generate. The main elements are done. Just take a minute to see what else you can do to make it better. Let's try making the word pro stand out a little. Here's one way to do it. I can create the word pro again using the same font as the original, but in a different color. And just lay it over on top of the original. You can play around with different ideas here. Like different color text layering each other would create an interesting effect. I'm quite happy with that. Now, you can maybe add your name as the author. In this case, I'll just add madewithmyecovermaker.com here. It's looking great. I'm happy with that. So, the next step is to finalize the design. This will take your design and render it into a 3D mockup. This generally takes around 15 to 30 seconds. On this page, you can download the cover with either a choice of background color or a transparent background. If you need the original design in flat 2D, just click here, and you can save a copy to use as the cover page for your ebook.